do it. You scrawled on this video to do it. It's your boy, Daddy Scobar Dreamer. Alright y'all, we back with another big body banger, you feel me? Listen, today we have something crazy. We have something, well it's not, it's, I don't know why I'm smiling, it's actually pretty bad. I think I've reacted to a lot of cheating videos where it's made me kind of numb to these stories, but these are real life bad stories. This dude literally caught his wife cheating on him with his best friend, and guess how he found out that she was cheating? His Apple Watch, you know what I'm saying? I think she was trying to cheat and he got notifications to it, I don't, I don't know, it just says... He caught his wife cheating through his Apple Watch. I'm assuming the rest of the stuff. But you're finna hop right into this. I'm not gonna pause it too much. I'm not gonna talk y'all head off. All I ask is one thing, though. Smash the freaking like button. And let's just hop right into this, man. Caught wife trying to cheat with my friend from her I watch. So last night, my wife of seven years decided to have a chill out night. After dinner, she went to the den and was watching her programs while I flitted between watching the Spurs game and doing some odds and ends that I had planned. Next thing I know, she's got the wine out and has had two bottles of the stuff. At around midnight, I went to check on Wait, her two bottles of wine is her. crazy. I went to scoop her up when her I watched thing buzzed and a message popped up on the screen. It said something along the lines of, ha ha, I can't do that. John Doe would knock seven shades of shit out of me. I wondered what the fuck that was all about. So I pressed on it and it was a conversation between my wife and a friend of mine. Now I wouldn't say this guy's a close friend of mine, but he's someone I've played five asides with for years, drank with, and have known since we were teenagers. We used to call him jacket holder, because when we got into scraps as teens he'd always be the guy holding the jackets, while everyone else went for it. Right so as I said, I pushed on the conversation while this thing is still attached to her wrist and scroll up to the top and as far as I can tell it's wait, in Wait, wait, he's- Oh, he had the Apple- It was her Apple Watch that he saw, dang. Acts her first, unless she's deleted. There's lots of flirting and wink-winking going on but nothing that you could outright say was cheating. Then I get to last night and when she's drunk she starts openly begging him for sex. I couldn't believe my fucking eyes. Dang. I'm paraphrasing here because Dang. I can't remember the exact words, but she was saying shit like how much she had always wanted him, how no one would ever find out if he did want to do something. Dang. And the last one that fucking killed me, that she was great at keeping secrets. Dang. I Dang. Dang. So this, okay, it's one thing to get cheated on, right? It's one thing where it just like happened and the girl cheated, you know what I'm saying? It's another thing for your wife literally begging another man to clap her. It's, an, it's a whole nother thing for your wife being thirsty while she's married to you. She's thirsty and cheating on you. That's, that, dang, that's, that's a knife to the heart right there. I ain't gonna lie to you. I tried to scroll on her watch but couldn't find any other messages and dang. I don't know her phone passcode. Dang. I put her in her bed and just sat in the kitchen in shock until I fell asleep. Then got up for work about five points. Fell asleep? Years. Went to work? I went to get in my work van. I just slunk down on the wheel and realized I couldn't face it. So I went back in the house, grabbed a half drunk bottle of vodka. Filled to the top with coke and went on a walk down the railway line. We live beside a lot of woodland and this huge railway wait, line wait, that wait, goes wait, for miles. What did he just say? <laughs> coke and went on a walk down the railway line. So I went back in the house, grabbed a half drunk bottle of vodka, filled to the top with coke and went on a. Oh, he he got a half drunk bottle of vodka and filled it with Coca Cola. I thought he was talking about the other coke. I was like, Are you dead? <laughs> Are you dead now? What what happened here? Walk down the railway line. We live beside a lot of woodland and a disused railway line that goes for miles, and I've walked about half the length of it. I'm sitting under a railway bridge like a fucking troll right now, just seething at the whole thing. You'd probably think there's a fire going from about a mile away due to the steam coming out of my ears. So what do I do? I don't want to speak to her. I can't even bear to look at her after reading that shit. It was like a dagger through my heart. Yeah, how'd you go I to sleep though? That's what I'm trying to figure out. Love I had for her has evaporated into thin air after reading her begging like that. Fucking yuck. I honestly want to ghost her man. If I could, I would never speak to her again. The whole. I'm great at keeping secrets. Was the thing that really got me. Yeah, going. that means she been getting like piped down. I ain't gonna lie to you. It reeks. That means she's literally been getting piped down by random dudes. That if she she said I'm good at keeping secrets, she probably clapped your dad. The case of how far down the rabbit hole do I want to go? I don't care if I'm being honest. I'm just done. I've never felt so betrayed and disgusted in all my life. The thing is, I've invested so much in her, not just as a partner, but as a person. I loved her so much and thought her personality and by extension my personality reflected that of good people. Dang. To realize she's a backstabbing snake makes me feel like a snake. I feel like a worse person than I was yesterday. The only way I can describe it is for someone you looked up to, took advice and life lessons from, to suddenly find out they were a pedo or an R word or just a downright creep, your entire perception of yourself and who you are would be shattered. That is very true though. What That's true. Invested time into a creep. God, I'm rambling nonsense. I apologize. No, you're not. I, I, I appreciate the information. By my parents, who six years ago moved to a retirement village and we moved in. The house will be bequeathed to me when they die, but I don't and hopefully won't own it for a long time. They couldn't be bothered with the upkeep and all the problems, etc. And wanted to see out their final days in peace. So when we do divorce, my soon-to-be ex won't be getting her hands on it. 
So what do I do then? I'm honestly thinking of just not saying a word and throwing her right out. Yeah. Also, while walking here it went through my mind to get my mate who's a locksmith to quietly change the locks today. Yeah. I could feed her any old garbage about something from the doors being broken, she won't care what's going on anyways, as long as I'm about. Then after he's done lock the front door and tell her to come out and look at something out the back, when she comes out just run back in and lock the door behind me. That sounds childish as fuck, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, that's pretty stupid. That's not a good, that's not a good play. It would be more so just to like, when she goes to the store or something like that, find her grandma or something and never mind, I can't say that. Seriously, though, I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm staring at a bottle right now and my life feels like it has been ripped apart at the seams. As for that prick so-called friend of mine, there's no doubt he was up to something here. There's also no doubt I wouldn't have caught wind of this at all, so I'll be seeing him very soon. Never mind holding jackets, he'll be holding his face. <laughs> update. Caught wife trying to cheat with my friend from her I watch. Oh, this the update? Oh, this is valid. They put all the parts in one part. This is lit. This is great. My first post was really appreciated. So yesterday after I had written the post and was in a complete mess, two dog walkers came over to check on me as I was obviously concerning them. I told them everything. They listened and the first thing one of them said to me was, Son, the worst thing you can do right now is drink. It'll cause carnage. I have to thank her for that because I was on the highway to hell at that point. Yeah, it's true. I threw the vodka Very true. away, got in touch with a friend and he said I could come to his for a while to calm down. He was at work but told me where the spare key was. We live in a small town of around 15,000 people and he wasn't too far away so once I got there I sat on his couch just trying to calm down. Throughout the morning I was getting multiple texts and phone calls from my wife, asking where I was and what the hell was up as my work van was still sitting in the driveway and I was nowhere to be seen. I text her back telling her that there was a problem with the engine, so I got a lift into work which she seemed to buy as she just texts back saying okay. When my friend got back from his work at about 5 o'clock, I told him everything that had happened and asked him his opinion. I also told him not to tell anyone about jacket holder, as that might then get back to my wife which I didn't want at this point, I would deal yeah. with him later. Yeah. By that I mean I'll expose what a little rat he is, knocking fuck out of him doesn't help me at all, as of now. Ah, it might make you feel a little better. Saying he done a little wrong, bit. He messaged my wife first, he was being extremely flirty, what the fuck is he even playing at messaging my wife for in the first place he only knows her in passing, from afar, look I've got no problem with two adults conversing with each other but they hardly knew each other and it was flirty from the start, as far as I could tell. I think they've seen each other while out and about and it's gotten flirty then. So my friend convinced me to try and keep a low profile, and see what I could dig up but at the same time speak to a lawyer, and get the ball rolling in terms of finding out my options, which I have done today. He took me home about 6 o'clock and I was honestly dead on my feet by that point. I think the adrenaline pumping the entire day, then suddenly stopping, knocks it right out of you, so True. I was extremely tired when I got home. The second I walked through the door, I knew something was up as my wife was on me right away asking me all sorts of questions about work, I asked her why does she even care? She said that I'd left my big flask and my lunch bag in the front passenger side seat and something's been up today. She could feel it. I was about to lie, but I was just too tired. Tell this mofo. I not putting any sort of charade up, so I just said, yeah, there is something up. That when I was putting her drunk ass to bed last night, a message came up on her I watch, which I read, and all the other ones, and that she was a fucking disgusting cheat that I wanted nothing more to do with. Talk about her grandma. Talk, say something about her grandma. Her demeanor went from an arms crossed person in power to scared little girl within about a second. Good at keeping secrets? Begging that little rat for sex? Yep, yeah, read it all. She started sobbing and I just walked away and upstairs. Why you go the cry? What you crying when for? When I got out, she was sitting on the top. It must hurt to be at that. And the excuses started right away. How she was drunk, vulnerable, had never done anything like that before. How he had messaged her first and it didn't mean anything. She was never going to go through with it. Pretty much everything that everyone on here was saying she would say. Like she. Okay, so boom. People always come up with this stupid excuse about, um... I was drunk or it's the alcohol or whatever like that. Realize this, right? Alcohol doesn't do nothing except for intensify your feelings and intensify your actions. It does not create new actions. You know what I'm saying? Perfect example. If you're someone who freaking... What's a good example? Okay, regular person. You would never off somebody, right? You would never off somebody in your entire life. You drink a whole bunch of alcohol. You're super, super drunk. It doesn't make you someone who would off somebody. You would never off somebody. You would never take advantage of a woman. You would never do none of that. Because as a sober person, you would never do that. Now, the people who do get drunk and do that, there's a small bit of them in there that would do that sober. So when they're drunk, it just amplifies it and, and it just takes over. Like, alcohol does not make you a whole different person. It just brings out every single part of you. You know what I'm saying? So you would have cheated sober. Alcohol just made you do it a little faster. <laughs> She had the playbook out. The only thing she didn't do was try and blame me. She probably knew I would have thrown her right out the door if she had tried that shit. I told her that I wanted a divorce and her out of the house within a month. Also told her that she was moving to the spare room. 
I've been pretty much ignoring her ever since just scowling at her and shaking my head when she starts waffling nonsense, I don't want to hear it. She slept in the spare room last night and I haven't spoken to or texted with her at all today. If I'm lucky maybe she'll be gone when I get back from work but Hopefully. not that good I suppose. On getting her out though, I was telling my parents what was happening and my mother was adamant I wasn't throwing her out onto the streets. Her and my mother are close and always have been. We'd Your have mother been thought too maybe. <laughs> your mother is a certified thought. If she's siding with the th if this is your own mother, and she's siding with the ops, which are the thoughts, your mother is an op thought, a thought op. Tell your father to leave her. Simple. Been together 11 years in December. My mother was saying she made a mistake and that we should sort it out like adults, that we've been through too much together and that she didn't actually do anything, it was just words. She completely took her side over mine, couldn't believe it. Like, do I have no right to ask her to leave if my mother is against it? It's literally going to be my house when my parents pass and I did nothing wrong so I'm not leaving. It's probably going to turn into War of the Roses Part 2. I managed to get myself an appointment with a divorce lawyer for next week so I'll be going to that to discuss my options. Until then I'm just going to ignore my soon-to-be ex-wife I guess. I know she's probably not going to admit anything else now, I'll never know if she was a really good liar or she was just talking shit to him to get him on side with her for an affair. Anyway sorry about the delay in the update, just got the chance to write it now as I'm finishing work. Well back to the funhouse I guess. Man, oh freaking man. You know, I'm not really satisfied with the way that things turned out. And I'm actually extremely mad at the mom. The mom literally is an op. Like, you can't trust your mom at that point. If your mom sides with somebody who's cheated on you, like, what the... F you know what I'm saying? The mom is a certified op. We do not trust the mom at all. The mom is a thought op. An op thought. She's a certified thought. Anyways, man. Y'all let me know what y'all think in the comments down below. That's freaking crazy. And the fact, I, I feel like something else should have happened, though. He should have done something else. He should have, like, he should have talked about her grandma or something. You know, like, she, he had to have, he has to do something else to, like, hurt her. You know what I'm saying? Like, something that's really, like, ugh. Like, dang, you got me. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, just telling her he caught her cheating. And what's going to happen with the dude? Mr. Coat, 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 what is it? Coat uh, holder or something like that? Jacket holder? What's that? I want the, where's the update for that? If there's an update, somebody tag me and I'm about to watch it. You know what I'm saying? But anyways, yo, that's the end of the video. Y'all let me know what y'all think in the comments down below. First of all, if you're stupid enough to cheat, you have an Apple Watch. First of all, if you're stupid enough to cheat, you're stupid. If you have an Apple Watch, you cheat. And you can call your Apple Watch. You're extra stupid. You got to turn them notifications off. I'm not trying to teach you how to cheat. Actually, let me take that back. Don't cheat. The cheating is not cool. Just leave the person. Or just freaking man up and fix the problems in your freaking relationship, you freaking losers. Anyways, man, that's the end of the video. Y'all let me know what y'all think in the comments down below. How would y'all have reacted in this situation? What would have been like the oomph that he could have said to re or done? Because um, that whole locking her outside thing was boring. That was trash. I'm not going to lie to you. It was super trash. But uh, what would y'all have done? What would have been like a good thing to do that's like, gotcha. <laughs> We're even now. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Y'all let me know in the comments down below. But if you thought this video was crazy, I highly suggest you watch this video right here. This dad is literally addicted to sleeping in his daughter's bed. That's that's all I'm going to say. That's I'm not going to spoil it. Just watch the freaking video. It's crazy right there. That's about it. I'm going to see y'all out.